All right, here we go, through the tube. We're here to, uh, to host an FPV drone race, and if you're not familiar with what FPV uh, stands for, that stands for first person view. Uh, and what that is, is where our pilots um, will wear a set of goggles, and uh, as they control their drone, this is uh, better known as a tiny whoop, uh, as they control this, uh, they receive the video feed uh, from this camera in their goggles in real time. So they're able to fly as if they were sitting in the cockpit of the drone, um, which makes the experience for them um, extremely awesome. Um, and getting to fly through these incredible airplanes and around uh, these, uh, these awesome. historical things is, uh, is pretty rad for these pilots. It really gives you a, a good feel for how the course uh, flows. So. Yeah, you, I see you going through Old Shaky, the 124, you're hitting the uh, twin Mustang. Yep, doing our ascending gate, and then we're going back through the 124, back or down around the... Finish your aviator in route from now race number seven. We have a lot of things going on this weekend uh, for the spectators, especially uh, new aviators or people looking to get into this type of stuff or even just experience it um, firsthand. Um, lots of, uh, lots of uh, school programs out there are starting to adopt drones and, uh, and we love to have those kind of people come in so we can show them the ropes and let them put the goggles on and experience what our pilots are experiencing um, so that way they can get an idea of what it looks like and what maybe it feels like and then potentially spark that interest to get into either micro drones like what we're flying or the potential for it to branch off into something commercial, uh, maybe utilizing a part 107 um, certificate or uh, something like that in order to get into uh, the commercial side of drone operations.